Welcome to The Real and Real Pod. My name is David, and I am here with my co-host, who will be a great parent. <laughs> to a dog. Yeah. I, I don't know about that either. Oh, my goodness. Come on. I love dogs. I would never. I would never be so mean. But humans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cruelty. Yeah. Okay. That's so. Very- that's a, here on the real and real, we take a concept or character from a movie and ask the question: What if it or they were in the real world? We take five minutes to come with three points each, and then we discuss. Eve, can you tell us what the question is today, please? All right, and the question is: What if you could travel to the land of the dead? My great grandma Coco's father was the greatest musician of all time, Ernesto de la Cruz. One day, he left with his guitar and never returned. No, my family thinks music is a curse. In honor of the movie Coco. Oh, Coco. Have you seen the trailer for Coco? I actually saw the trailer before. Today. Yep. Before oh. we started recording. Ooh. <laughs> and Your thoughts and feelings. Definitely going to see it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, it was just so, so right up my alley. Dead people. Boom. What? <laughs> Love that. <Not> that. <laughs> Other people. Oh. Right up my alley, the animation, the the humor, the <laughs> visuals, yours. Right up my alley, the dead people, the murder. <laughs> yes, love the it. The death. I was just like, yes, this mm. is just awesome. And it's like, oh, and then I'm hoping I get to take, I want to actually take my team to it. So hopefully we get to do that next Friday. You do realize the last time y'all went to a movie was horrid, right? No, she won't be there. That was one specific issue. I thought it was two people. Was it two? I thought so. Two people got lost. It was, oh, that one was from my team and the other one's from the other team. Oh, so you wouldn't have that person. You wouldn't have your normal person. Either. Exactly. Okay, right, maybe right. that would work. Right. And I was like, because one, we were talking about Halloween and the different cultures and learning about what Halloween actually is and what it stands for when it has nothing to do with the devil for the how the origin of it. And Mexico was one of them. And they're talking about just the celebration of the dead and their loved ones. And I'm like, ah, oh, this movie is perfect. That is perfect. Right. And it's PG, so they can, per company standards, can see it, even though they are legally able to see R rated movies. I got you. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, I am somewhat looking forward to it. Uh, I wish it wasn't about Day of the Dead, only because I saw a movie called Book of Life, which reminds me of this movie, which came out a while ago. Is it like ago. the complete opposite? It pretty <laughs> much looks like this, um, oh. except, of course, this looks like more money was put into it. And uh, But here's the thing. Day of the Dead was not very good. It wasn't a bad film. You mean film. Uh, Book of Life? I'm sorry. Yeah, Book of Life was not very good. It was mm-hmm. not a bad film. Mm-hmm. It's just there, and right. you will forget it. But I never forgot it, because when this movie came out, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of that other movie I saw. Mm-hmm. And when I went to see the movie, it was a screening, and it was like on a Saturday, and the kids were like just there absorbing mm-hmm. it. No one was really laughing or anything. Like, ha, ha, ha. It was kind of quiet. I thought I was alone. I was kind of creeped out. Was it supposed to be a comedy? Yeah, it's a kid's it's about animation. The Book of Life? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure the Book of Life was about What am I animation. thinking about this little boy on a boat and in the ocean? Kubo and the Two Strings? No, it wasn't animation, though. It was real life. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh, I don't know. I thought it was like... The Life oh, of Pi? Yes, that was it. Yeah, that is not a comedy. Okay. Him I was and, like, um, I don't think children are supposed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's like, I will, I'll go see it because it's Pixar. I wish they would have thought of something different. It's, it's like, I'm just tired of... The same storyline. Yeah, but also that ethnicity, it's great to see a different ethnicity. Yes. I'm mad that that ethnicity is st- not stereotypical, but the story is what, like for instance, uh, Big Hero 6, Asian kid, Asian brother doing tech stuff. And I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. yeah, but this feels semi-stereotypical of this. Mm-hmm. Yes, this might be some people's world, but can they do other things? Right, <laughs> Like maybe right. skateboarding or they are a um, painter or something. Just I think that's too, Pixar isn't, fun fact, did you know that Steve Jobs is the one who created Pixar? Uh, no, he, he started with along with um, uh, George Lucas, if I'm not mistaken. What do you, oh, him and George Lucas started yes, it together? Oh, so. yeah. He I owned didn't... like... 50 something percent a majority of it. yeah a majority of it i was like wow look at that yeah and that was actually after that happened a year after a year or two years after he got fired from apple well, well yeah there you go hey so, look how that rebound happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um yeah i wish they would try to 
it's weird to say diversified, but diversified the storyline. So diversified the storyline per the race. Yeah, it doesn't mm-hmm. always have to be like, oh, this is the race. This is the story that they're all going to deal with. No, right. some of them are in America. Some of them are in other countries growing up, maybe military kids. And so I think that's, uh, Pixar's just not ready to... They're basically just trying to make a movie for every generation, I mean, every ethnicity. Right. And putting it in the setting that they would usually know. And I, I guess that's, no, that's a That's a huge, if you're, yeah, that's you're in Mexico, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a big so, thing for their but, culture. Yeah, with the... With the like her mama, not her stuff. mama, <laughs> Moana, yeah, yo mama, <laughs> her mama, yo mama, but yeah. So, right. so even her, like, can I get that character mm-hmm. doing like something else? Right. Like, like let her after she like leaves. Lilo and Stitch is great, right? But, but I would stay also in love to see a Hawaiian woman somewhere else <laughs> doing other a Hawaiian things. story. Well, no, a story about a Hawaiian woman in New York. Yeah, City. Yeah, in New York City, yeah. or doing who knows right. what. Yeah. A being Asian the powerhouse man, yeah, of a, Asian a company, man not doing tech stuff. Like I'm just saying, I, it's great for those you know people. that would be interesting. It'd be even though a there is a show. Change. There's an Asian girl who's supposed to go to med- no, who's supposed to be a doctor. Had a semester left in medical school, but quit and decided to start running her own pot um, business or whatever, and it actually became quite successful. What show is this? Or is this real life? No, this is a show. This okay, show. Cool. yeah. I mean, it could be real life. I- hey, I would take it because <laughs> I'm. It's great for the cultures because they have something mm-hmm. of their own to see. Mm-hmm. Now, give me some after you get after you've done everybody because you're running out of ethnicities. I think right. the next one's probably going to be an Indian person. Oh, after you've yeah. done everybody, throw one of those those ethnicities in another setting. Like when you make Cinderella, <laughs> why, let, let her be Mexican. No, that's just giving me the same Cinderella story. As well, a true, but still, I'm I just saying. need give me a give me a Mexican person. In another area, no doing, story. who knows what? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's the only thing. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be funny. Yeah, it's Pixar. Cute. It's gonna be Pixar. Right. Okay. I don't know if it'll top the last movie, but you which know, was I was Finding gonna say Dory? Inside Out, but I think it is Finding Dory. I was about to say no, I think it is Finding Dory. Yeah. it will probably top Finding Dory because yeah. Finding Dory is mostly up and down. This one is probably more consistent, but mm-hmm. and it looks more actiony. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's been a while since they had an action movie. Anyway, let's get on. So the question was, what if we could all go to the land of the dead? I'm thinking like a portal type thing. Uh, three points in five minutes. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and we're back. I don't know what you're listening to us on, but you can also find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, YouTube, Podbean, and probably something else I can't remember. Uh, all of that at Real and Real Pod. We also have a Twitter, a Facebook, and an Instagram. All at Real and Real Pod. If you like to donate to the show, help us out. We have a Patreon, and you can donate at Podbean. Again, at Real and Real Pod. That's R E E L I N R E A L P O D. Just so you know, I know Real and Real sounds very confusing. Anyway, so on to the show. The question was, what if we could all go to the land of the dead? Ladies first. Okay, so my first point. Mm-hmm. Simple, makes sense, really easy. This would be a feature added to all therapy sessions. So, you know, you pay for your therapy session, and a lot of, uh, seems to be a lot of stereotypical issues is, oh, my mama died, my daddy died, blah, 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 whatever. You'd be a horrible <laughs> therapist. <laughs> You'd be a horrible therapist. I wish they could see your face. Like you, like, you said it with such annoyance and disgust. Like, oh, my mama died. My daddy died. Who cares? Move on with your life. You got a five-figure job. Get out of my face. I'm sitting here listening to your problems. Wah. Wah. Shut up. We went to high school together. Oh, your mom was a, like a lame. A whore. Anyways. um, So, yes, this will be a part of the session. <laughs> But it's just always like, oh my god, I could just talk to them one last time. For what? Like, it's over. Tell it, I say think it. they would stop coming. What? If they got to talk to them one last time? If No, okay, so you go to therapy session. Right. right? Well, not you, because you're right. the therapist. <laughs> <laughs> therapy, <laughs> therapists the, need the therapy, not, too. They're not caring. They're not caring <laughs> therapists. I come, and I'm like... I just want to talk to my great grandma again, right? And then you're like, you know, let's call them in. So then you, you I paid. Oh, well, see, no, in. I was thinking it'd be like a little shoot. And okay, a shoot, and I go in. Yes. I think eventually my great grandma will be like, again, you're here again. 
<laughs> get over it. We didn't even know each other that well. I didn't even, I just gave your parents the money. They bought you whatever. I don't care about you. It's Aww. like that. <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think your great grandmother would be like that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she I mean, has, she, she have a cake. Me a gift. Huh? Wait, you met her? Yeah, I met her before she passed. Oh, look at that. Yeah. How old was she when? Well, how old were you and she when? I was probably still in middle school, maybe elementary. Oh, fun I would say fact. late elementary or middle school. Huh. And I met her at my grandma, grandmother's house in Savannah. Hmm. And that's the last thing I remember of her mm. in my mind. Was she like really old? She I was still... old. Like, <laughs> she was really old. Because um, my grandma, I mean... If I have a grandma, like, I mean, uh, yeah, I, my parents. But my, no, I, I mean that older, like does she look really yeah, old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and also, I have an older generation of family, mm-hmm. as in like how kids these days. Oh, my mom's twenty seven, and like <laughs> their <they're laughs> mom's like, they're in middle school already. Yeah, like oh. what? No, why is your mom in school when you're in school? What? Right. Not like that. Like my mom, my parents actually had me when they were like right. in their thirties or something like mm-hmm. that. So I was actually of age of appropriate. You know the not that's incorrect. Just right. saying as in the older generation waiting right. to like you're, there's a significant age. Significant age, age difference. So right. the fact that I was that old, of course if I have a grand I have a mom, her mom, and then her mom. It's like right. of course she's very much older. And then she, there's a picture of her in one of the rooms in my grandmother's house, uh-huh. which is kind of creepy creeps me out. And then I also remember that because they sh- they have a popcorn ceiling. Uh-huh. Horrible. One time I hit it, or something happens, and you see, I saw her, and I was like, "This is creepy." And then the ceiling came down into my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> it was horrible. So I like, never I sleep back you. there again. Yeah, um, it's scary. But anyway, mm-hmm. um, your point. Yeah, I think that. Oh, go ahead. I yeah, that, yeah. I, I think those grandparents or whoever. Well, that's the point of therapy is we're supposed to help people. That's the get point of the medical field. But I think they will get annoyed at seeing them. Their I relatives. mean, whatever the dead person feels ain't got nothing to do with me. The like, point is, you want to go. The dead see person them. hates them. Hey. Never liked you, Johnny. Now we have more reasons for you to come to more <laughs> sessions so we can hey, talk about your money. right. So we can talk about these issues. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. I yes. like that one. That's yeah. nice. Okay. My, I like this point. I liked it. I did. I enjoyed making these points. Okay. So my first point is that funerals mm-hmm. would no longer exist. Okay. Why? Because we can just go visit you at any time. Like, why are we crying and whining and any of that? Like, we can just pop in. Hey, Uncle or Fester. Do you, or should it be funerals will no longer be a sad thing? No, because I don't think you're partying anyway. What are we partying that you made it to? I can go visit you. Who cares? Who cares? I think, here's the thing. Well, I was still say, care if you died. <laughs> I care if you die, but I think it's less of a... Shock. Sh- no, not shock, just pain because you're still around. Well, yeah. Well, you I just have access to you. I have Exactly. I have right. access to you. And they look pretty in the movie. They look yeah, pretty. They, like, I can I, grab them. Okay? Oh, yeah. They ain't like they just passing through me all right, the time. Right. Yeah. No, they got, they're solid. Yeah, they're solid. Because so, the dog was like, I got you. Yeah. Like, I'm so to... the fact that that, I mean, it wasn't like they were ghosts. That's a mm. different thing. Like, if they, I can pass through, I'm like, oh, it's, we feel less of a connection. But no, no. <laughs> you're you're solid. Okay? You like, can, yes. I can bring you a, a pair of clothing. and you can put, If necessary. <laughs> yeah, if necessary. You put it on. You're, mm. you're naked today so it's like that so i don't think we'll be whining crying it's like oh jimmy died uh oh, jimmy died okay i'll see him next week and mm-hmm. you know when his body fully forms and whatever if, how long it takes i don't know if it's just instantaneous there we go okay uh, it's like he owes me money oh i died bro i can still get out your pocket what this is true i guess yeah with that premise is like yeah you don't really need a funeral anyways I would hope that more people would i don't know how this works okay so does your body mm-hmm. need to be intact for you to be in the world. In the land of the dead. No. Okay, so. Now, I mean, if you're ripped to pieces. No, I'm just saying, what if people are cremated? Oh, that's a good point. Maybe like floating dust? I'm just saying, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> in the land of the dead. <laughs> I'm just thinking like a little cloud. Well, I guess if you're dead, your spirit goes over there. And you, yeah. they can do whatever with your body. Yeah. So I was going to say that more people would get cremated. Because mm-hmm. I think they should. Oh, I do know how I want to not die but get buried. The, tr- the tree thing? What's the tree thing? Oh. So- I mean, maybe that sounds dope. But I just want to be put straight in the ground. Like, that's it. Like, no casket. Just no casket. Just so put me straight. So and go in. Exactly. Got gotcha. you. I also want to do something like that because I, when you find out how much space and land that um, a casket takes, casket and graveyard, and how much take a up, casket, how much a pillow in a casket is. I wow. mean, technically, I could go get a pillow from Walmart and throw it in there. They won't let you. But anyway, um, 
yeah, after you find out how much that is and how it's like, it can be a burden on your family with the funeral home. People can genuinely stuff. go bankrupt trying yeah. to do a funeral. I'm like, yeah, it's a lot. No. So I'm like, that's too much on people. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, great for you if you feel like doing it, but you know, if it's a part of your culture, whatever that may be, religion, whatever, I don't do know. Do you? Yeah, do you. But I, no, I can't mm-hmm. do that. But there's this thing where if I read it right, I don't think, I don't know if they burn you. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know if they burn your uh, uh, corpse, mm-hmm. but- I think they do. So, and they take you and they put you and they mix you like with soil or something like mm-hmm. that. And they put a seed in you and mm-hmm. then they plant you. Oh. And then a tree grows, but they'll know you'll know which tree is your like mm-hmm. your person. Right. You can always go and there'll be a, like a forest of like people. It's trees. a cemetery, but it's a bunch of trees. Oh, that's kind of dope. Yes. I like that. And I'm like, oh, this is amazing. That's so, so cool. Like, right. And, and you're giving can... back to yes, earth, like you know, so oxygen. Nice. That's nice. I'm like, that's beautiful. This sounds expensive though. I'm not gonna lie. I guess, it, no, because I think it'll be the cost of cremating. I would hope, but you would think, it sounds like one of those, like, exclusive things that only so many people know about, and then you'd be like... I'd say it's an exclusive thing that only so many people know about, because not, not a lot of people know about it. Mm. But I think if you spread the word, you'd probably just pay for the cremation. Because, mm. and that would probably be the... My, I'm not going to say it'd be cheaper, but... I hope it's With cheaper. the cremation, they probably put you, like, in an urn and also the junk. With this one... Oh, yeah, the urn probably You're just mixing still be... me with soil and throwing me in the ground. Like, I'm not... Right. And then I'll probably pay for the seed. Right, right. <laughs> right. Or I can right. bring my own seed. Here's the... I want I want to be a, a cherry apple blossom. Tree. Yeah, I want to be an apple tree. But I'm sure mm. you can't just pick apple tree in the middle of a bunch of other ferns. So, <laughs> you got to be a specific kind of tree. Hey. I'm be like, hey. So, yeah. I think that's the best way. Because then people... It's not that your ashes are burning. They just scatter you. Because then it's like... you. Some people want to visit. Now you can visit something like a tree. Right. Be like, Even though oh, now when you think about it, how long does it take a tree to grow? Or matter. the sprout. Then come and water it. Yes. And that's something you can do. Like, you won't have to, like, how you people bring, like, flowers, flowers. to a grave. Mm-hmm. And eventually they die and go away. Mm-hmm. Bring some water. Okay? Right. Water me. <laughs> replenish yeah. me. Come replenish me. Come water me every other week. You know, it would be dope if that was, like, a thing. And then, like, you could kind of, like, open a door in the tree and go in and see your person. Okay. Now you're doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a lot. Let's move on to your next point because you're going super far with this. Okay. Now, if you don't like this point, I have another one. Um, Stop saying that. Just go ahead. (laughs) So, I think there's this movie called Scared Straight, right? I mean, show. Show called Scared Straight. We've heard of it before. You've brought it up a couple of times. Right. Uh, You seem to like it. Well, yes. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, yes, yes, I do. I do enjoy it. Yes, I'm thinking that Scared Straight would mm-hmm. take this opportunity, revamp the show, Scared <laughs> Straight in the Underworld. Boom, that's it. Forget jail. You I don't want... think that's how that works. What do you mean? Scared Straight, the point is to scare you from coming to jail. Right. But who better than somebody that was already raped and beaten and killed <laughs> in jail? Then they're not scared of in jail. They're scared of just rape and being killed. Right. That can happen in the world, though. Exactly. But the point is, this dead man, he's dead. You're alive. He's dead. Okay? He ain't coming back. You got a second chance, son. So are you going to scare me with jail? And then when that doesn't work, the second the second level is... You no, I think it kind of be like one in the same. One in the same. Yeah, so it's like, but they hey, don't know. You don't want to come to jail, son, because they come in here and rape you. And then a, a, a ghost pops up, and they can kill you. <laughs> well, see, no, I was thinking more like, okay, you bring them into jail. Everyone scares them. Whoop de whoop. They go to sleep, right? Then, boom. They just, like, kind of drop into Underworld. And the ghosts just have at them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens. Sounds murder. <laughs> I think some parents don't send their kids to this. Hey, the point is, the scare straight. I was thinking maybe it could be a punishment for kids, but then I'm like, uh, I feel like it would start to be a thing where you have to pay but they're for not, it. They're not torturing people. They're very happy people there. There are some happy people, but not everybody up in seems there is like happy. Everybody seems to be happy in that joyous land. I mean, one of the monsters, yeah. something, something was changing. In the him. Day of the Dead in Mexico. But so in the United- America's Day of the Day is different. In the United States. In the, in the States. USA, our Day of the Dead is treacherous. <laughs> like, you just, you never know. You're getting different types of... I'm sure the Russian Day of the Dead or the, the you know, the more hardcore countries like <laughs> Korea, Korea and stuff like that. <laughs> Any hoosies. Back to my point. I mean, on yeah, to your my point. point. My next point. Is... Okay, so my next point is that lawyers would not be assigned on murder cases anymore. 
Oh, because you could just add the ask the exactly. killer. I mean the murderer. You could the ask victim. the killer. I don't think that <laughs> the <you>. victim. <laughs> right. Did you do like, it? Well, who did you do? Who did you kill? Like, <laughs> right. like okay, I'll that, tell you. That could be a thing. <laughs> How much time you got? But um, right. yeah, so I think that they would just go down to or go over. So lawyers down, would they could go to the cops would go to the land of the dead and they'd be like, Hey guys, who killed you? It was my niece. Ah, we thought so. She looked kind of nefarious. She had a knife. Now, question, but can they lie? That's what I was wondering. (laughs) But they probably could tell them where, like, um, some evidence is or something like that, maybe. Mm. Like, maybe they got rid of the evidence. Like, I watched them as the ghost is. uh, (laughs) As I watched. Laying over my body. Yeah, laying over my body. mm, uh, I see your trifle behind. Across the street. Maybe you should check that out. Um, Mm. They never liked me. Maybe look that up. But yeah, they probably could have lied. But I feel like. So wait, you said what was your point? Lawyers would not be assigned on murder cases. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe too easy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The, that would be pointless. Yeah, the, I I want to say most because my first thought was assassinations, and you don't see who assassinates you. It's just your assass- well, not oh. all the time. Sometimes you do because Lincoln was assassinated. So, but did Lincoln didn't see who he? But we but we saw who was that. Did you? Were you there? No, they knew who it was. It was oh. <laughs> Like, did they you saw know? Him, they saw him, then he ran away. He was like, oh, no. Like, they saw oh, him. Okay, I'm thinking, okay. like, my mind went spy assassinations where you're, like, mm. off in the corner somewhere. I'm like, Pew. right. And then, or from, like, know, three miles away. Three miles away, got to, like, go, like, <laughs> and it's like, you know, hit you, hit you in your neck or something. Like, right, okay. yeah, like that. Like, I, I counted for win and got calculations mm. and all this other stuff. Okay. So, yeah. So, but, yeah, most murders, okay, in the streets. <laughs> yeah. In the like, streets. In the streets. You know. Face, face. Yeah. Stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. That would be definitely that would definitely be helpful. Some of it I still think it wouldn't matter. Black the man murder? who shot you in the streets. It was that cop. Okay, who cares? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we heard the story sorry, yesterday. I thought, I, sorry, I thought of that racist <laughs> joke. <laughs> I might cut it out. I don't know. Go ahead. Oh goodness. What's your next point? Oh, well my last point. What's your last point? Um uh, well. Mm-hmm. If you don't like this point, I can again. Just one. tell us. Stop saying that. <laughs> okay, so it would become a crime for anyone mm. who attempts or does enter into the underworld because I think of it like this. All right, if we had the ability to truly talk to the dead, mm-hmm. that means we could talk to our ancestors. Gotcha. We know where we came from. We can get the real story. And I just think we already have so many racial issues in the we world. We already have the real story. We have some of the real story. We have a good bit of it. It still doesn't change it the doesn't. current process. But it's just you got to think about like, it's one thing to be like, oh, you know, okay, this is really dramatic. But okay, never mind. I'm not going to use that example. I'm going to change it. Did <laughs> okay. I have to do a rank? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I felt it. Yeah, okay. Um, Johnny's dog down the street got hit by a car. Oh, okay. Johnny's dog. Your dog got hit by a car. Oh my God, my dog got hit by a car. It's a difference. It's one thing to know that my ancestors were whipped. It's one thing to hear from their own mouths and to hear details and stories. I wouldn't want to hear. But see, people would. And Ooh. I'm thinking those, the ones that- Are you that, making a museum for them? I don't want to hear that. Hey, I'm good when I hear it. It's like when people go to the Holocaust Museum. After a while- I'm filled up on violence. <laughs> oh, I'm filled up on the hatred. I'm, I'm, filled I'm up. okay. I don't want to. I get the gist. They were bad. It was horrible what they did. I can't feel my emotionally feeling bad for it's it. It's too much. It's not going to change what happened. I know you want me to feel bad for some reason. Wanting me to have knowledge is a different thing than wanting me to feel emotion. But see, no, I think you have those people. You have those black power, less, we're so black, black love, black oil, everything. You have those people that are like, tell me the truth. What really happened back in 1965? You know, that. So they can go tell other people. Yes, and, like, and then start. Oh, let me tell you what this ri- happened. Right. Yeah. Like, go to your ancestors. She's down the street to the left from mine. Like, it's just, I'm like, Mind you, you know what? Black, so people it's going to start <laughs> becoming a thing. More riots, more killings, more. Oh, because of angry black. Ex- angry any culture. Well, <laughs> you got mainly just two that you focus on. The black people and the Jews. 
It's like the main. Well, no, and the uh, Koreans, the Koreans, uh, Koreans, Japanese, and Chinese, bro. They got a, they got some history between each other. So to be so True, closely related, talk, that's more like anger and hate toward each other because of just cultural differences, and stuff right? Like that. And war. This is more like slavery and on our side of. Black Their people, people were enslaved Jews. by them people. And also Remember? maybe Hawaiians because of America. Right. But, everybody yeah. <laughs> everybody would have their ancestral issues yes. and want to bring it to the forefront. And it's like, you know what? Well, not here's the thing. I think Death. Older people, yes. And the people that are passing that on to their kids. Huh? As in the feel that hatred. Oh. Like for instance, the most racist person I met was a uh black woman. Which is interesting because most people think, like, as a black person, I would get, you know, I get more, more hate from, from the people, from my people. from the people that are my color yeah, than yeah, anybody exactly. else. I'm so black guys. she was very angry. Just like she kept saying like stuff like blue eyed devil. When I was like, it bothered oh. me. But we were at, I was at work and she uh. was a customer, which made it worse. Don't people, when you go in there, when you go buy stuff, <laughs> don't express your anger don't, with me. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't express your anger of other races. People don't want to hear that. One, if they did agree. They don't want to stay at their job because they at they work and they try to keep their job. If they don't agree, it's just awkward. Leave. You came to buy some chapstick. Leave out my face. Right, I wanna, please. I don't want to share that passion with somebody hear, else yeah. who cares because I don't. That's what online was made for. Your social anger. <laughs> Throw it out there into the void of whatever. Oh. So here's the issue. I'm like, you have that anger, fine, whatever. I mean, it's not fine, but whatever. She, the issue is she passed it on to her daughter, and mm-hmm. her daughter is the same way. But her daughter's around my age. Mm-hmm. Well, at the time, she was like 26, 27, or something mm-hmm. like that. So I'm like, that's not How cool, old are dude. you? 28? Now? Yeah, 28. Okay. So yeah, at the time, I was like, wow, we passing hate down on from family member to family member? That's really... Well, that's how it happens. I know. Mm-hmm. And it's messed up because I'm like, she's upset at every white person that comes But she's never been last. She never she, had yeah, I'm like, has any man ever, <laughs> like, every any white person ever just done you wrong? Or were you looking for it? Like, they looked at me weird at home. This is what she said. That white male's looking at me weird at Home Depot. And I was like... Really? Was it? Was it? I mean, maybe was he was thinking like, oh, I mean, does she he need was help? An employee, so he was he's like, like she looks lost. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, he uh, said, oh, "May I help you?" She's like, "Can't, can you help me?" Like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm like, did right. you know? Did you know you're going? going? No, <laughs> but like, I was gonna find it. <laughs> I was gonna find it myself. by myself, if not with my black, my black brother. <laughs> oh, no, like, no, I can't. I can't, Mike. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I think the older people will tap into that and love all that and just soak it all in. And all the people that made um, Dear White People the show and movie (laughs) will soak it all in. I mean, you have Me, per se, I would be like, no, I'm good. Oh, yeah. No, I would not want to. It was bad. Mm -hmm. Can we please move on and grow together as a unified unit? Knowing it is great. Using Mm -hmm. it to be upset. I mean, as in the knowledge of what went on. Not the details. Just this it happened. happened to these people. Yeah. But see, that. is it though? Is it? Because if you think about it, it's like they say with the saying, ignorance ignorance is bliss. bliss to a degree. But also um, the saying of um, know your history or you're doing to repeat it. Right. It's like you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. Mm-hmm. But Which I've makes been sense. back there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, if we knew, not like if we knew more about our historical culture... It'd be great. Right. But Versus pain. <laughs> right. That's all they talk about. It's like as like that, I feel like I could live we we could all get along better if whites, black, Asians, Hispanics, Indy, all y'all, just if we knew l- less potentially about the painful mm. things. <laughs> like just knowing that, oh yeah, we had we had a little mishap. The knowledge of that is a spill drink. We had a mishap. Oh, just like some <laughs> Some things happened in the past. Little mishap. But today, let's come together. (laughs) It's like, well, that mishap was all the murdering of a whole nation. Right. And being lynched. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Pillaged and yes. Violence, yes, yes. Right. But let's talk about Disney's Pocahontas. (laughs) I'm just like... I had a question. Actually, I wrote this in a script. Mm -hmm. I have not finished it. Basically, it's just a conversation between two people. Uh-huh. And here was one of the questions one of the guys asked the other person. Let's say you have a daughter, right? Mm-hmm. And you know for a fact, this daughter will not, like, be involved in any racism whatsoever in her life. Aww. She's your she's your ethnicity. She's, she is black. Mm-hmm. Or let's say she was Mexican. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. She will not be like involved in, in any racist 
thing in her life, mm-hmm. in her whole life. Mm-hmm. She'll go on. She'll be successful, whatever. She would not have to deal with any of that. Right. Will you, like, you know this for sure, sure. So would you tell her about your culture's past? No. <laughs> not even. I mean, because there are times I'm just like, I feel like that's what keeps, like, just... It keeps the hatred alive. Like it's, <laughs> it's just like annoying. right. Like I'm gonna teach you how to make you know the the macaroni and cheese and the collard greens <laughs> like that culture. <laughs> but it's like you see these collard greens. Let me tell you the hate that we too. Right, like so the I reason made, so my great great grandpa made, made this right. because this is all we had in the back. Eat. Like no, I'm not. It's just. <laughs> It's just like why it's like understand I'm gonna make I want her to more so feel proud for who you are because people with less than mm-hmm. came to give you this. Mm-hmm. But I don't want you to have to cause you know, I have my moments like when I hear stories, cause like my uncle, he told me some stuff that happened back in even though he wasn't slave, but like with his grandfather, mm-hmm. or I mean his yeah, his grandfather, mm-hmm. um, who died the same month I was born. Fun fact. Um, fun fact. <laughs> yeah, so it was you know, when you were born. Yeah. Fun fact: death <laughs> happened as my life came to right. be. You know, joy, joy, happy, joy, joy. Fun fact. You know, they say no one. There, every time there's a death, there's a life. You know, fun fact. Fun fact, <laughs> fun fact class. <laughs> I was worried. I was going to grade you all on the curve, but you all got F. <laughs> You all failed. Fun fact. I would do that as a teacher. I would so be that teacher too. And I'd be like, what's good? Try some. All y'all get attention. It's like, fun, fun fact. Like, you know what? Fun fact. No. We all have summer school. I mean, all of you. All of you are Everyone. bad students. Fun fact. Oh. You'll be the worst teacher because every time they come in, it's like the guy from Futurama who's like, good news, everyone. Like, you be that teacher. Fun fact. They're like, oh, no. No, no. Something bad's coming. Like, just write it big on the board. Ready. Fun fact. Right after an exam. Yeah. Uh. Fun fact. You know what it stands for? FF? <laughs> oh, you got Fs. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Oh, thank you. But yeah, my uncle told me some stuff about other ways that I had actually never heard of about like how they used to kill and like abuse black people. And it's just being that, being from, just being black, you can't help but be like, you know what? Some of you white folks. Yeah, no. I'm not like that at all. No? I am never like that. See, I I don't can. know if I go to church or no. I don't know what it is. <laughs> or maybe it's my laid back, I don't careisms. Because I, I just, I'm like, oh. Uh, that sucks. I might even tear up. Be like, <laughs> that hurts me. Like that you went through that pain, or that oh. people went through that pain. Mm-hmm. That's sad to mm-hmm. hear. I don't walk outside and be like, "Oh, y'all gotta die <laughs> from what that person did that you never heard of, or never knew, or never was even from the region." Because of, no, it makes did. you think like, "Yo, this you could still not like me, and you True. still not like but me." But here's the thing: it just makes my mind I go crazy. Care? Why should I care? Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be super nice to you, okay? I'm going to be super respectful to you. Some words, and they still and got some hurt. some people be like, ah, oh, that's just a bad one to the man. No, it's not. It's just being respectful to people. I really don't care. It's being nice. If someone hates me, let them hate me. I had somebody lie on me in, while I was at work because everybody else liked me. Like, what? people do. Oh, yeah. at Walmart? Yes, when I worked back at uh-huh. Walmart. Some guy told other people that I sold some kids some bullets. Um... Yeah, so, and people will just make up lies about you. And this is true. Do I, did I hate the guy? I was like, oh, you kind of suck. And I was like, mm, about him. But after a while, I was like, why do I care? <laughs> why do I care? Why It's not hurting him that I am, like, upset. It doesn't hurt people. It makes you very, like, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. There's so much energy to be mad at someone. True. For something that happened way in the past, not to you. Right. And it wasn't by them. Right. <laughs> but yet you hate them. For something neither of you had anything to do with. Hopefully. With your ancestors. I hope we have nothing to do with. Like, my mind, I'm such a... But it's still not like I have it's such an imagination. Down. Like, hey, I, 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 um, I, here's the whip that your great, 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 great grandfather whips somebody <laughs> with. Pass it down to your child and let them know the lesson of the great whip day. Like, no, no uh, one does that. But, <laughs> like, you well, some. Yeah, I'm sure someone does <laughs> somewhere. it somewhere. But the majority of... Oh. You go online. Trust me, the majority of everybody is more like... That's racist. Don't do that. That's sexist. Don't do that. That's like everyone's offended at everything. Oh, Trust yeah. me. It's this, less we're people. We're so sensitive. Yeah. It's it's less people that are like, 
I hate all black people. I hate all white people. I hate all blah, blah, blah. Those, those people that say that or whatever, they're the minority. We think they're a majority because you think it's like it's everywhere. Trust me. They're the minority. Go online. They're the minority. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they just do the worst things. So there you go. But uh, my last point is that a lot more kidnappings uh, would happen because people could escape to the land of the dead. Because my mentality is that the land of the dead... It's so vast. Yeah, so vast, exactly. Mm. I don't think it has like an infinite like point. So I think that you're just escaping and going off. Now, here's the problem. I think that you might go crazy because you might not have enough food or <laughs> nourishment or showers or whatever. Mm. Uh, you're just being a vast void of whatever. Mm. And I'm sure they haven't built infrastructures out to... Right, you know, you're what, dead. Yeah, what do you need? Yeah, do you, you really go? need a latte yeah. <laughs> stand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they have a market everywhere. <laughs> So I'm sure maybe you could ve- like poof yourself to where you need to be. I don't know. But as far as I see, they were walking everywhere. Maybe they have vehicles. But yeah, I think they'll just go there, kidnap people and go there and just do whatever they want with them. Why not leave them? Oh, no, they can't. Cause they'll- What's the point Why? of a kidnapping if you're just right. going to leave people? That's like saying, what's the point of a kidnapping if you're going to kill them? It's called kidnapping and then murder. Yeah, but I thought you're kidnapping for a purpose, like rape or something. Or, 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 to kill them. Or money or... Okay, kill them with pleasure, I guess. What? But when you said, leave, yeah, for pleasure, they might kill them. But you said leave them. I thought, like, I got gotcha, you, bye. And then just go and like, without doing anything to them. Oh, well, yeah. I just have the thrill of leave, like taking people. I thought that was what you were saying. Oh, I mean, I'm sure that is somebody. That could, right. That I could mean, be... I don't doubt it. But yeah, so. Someone somewhere. Yeah, always. Interesting. Always and forever. But yeah, that's my last point. Pretty quick, pretty succinct. Okay, mm-hmm. because we rambled on so much about right. <laughs> racism. racism. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, anybody that sat through that. But anyway. Very sorry. Let's go down our points real quick. Okay, my first point was seeing your loved ones will be a part of your therapy session. Nice, I like that one. Scared straight in the underworld That's TV dumb. show. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, I said I had a different one if you needed it. Nope. Um, and then, oh, what was my last one? Oh, anyone, death to all who, oh, the punishment Infidels. is death. Oh. Who tries to go to the underworld. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, my three points are that funerals will no longer exist. Uh, second point is that lawyers would uh, not be assigned to murder cases. And the last one is that there'll be a lot more kidnappings. And that's the show, guys. Eve, you want to tell them where they can find you? Yes, you can find me on the good old Twitter. Twitter. Um, that's all I was trying to say. Twitter. That's all I was trying to say. Twitter. 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 I can't whistle. Can't? No, swish, swish, no, I'm not even. Swish, going to. Swish. I don't know. I can't. <gasps> oh, you're a broken child. We finally found your fault. An Amazon, so gorgeous, sculpted from clay, having every talent in the world. The voice of an angel cannot whistle. <laughs> I wish I could sing. Oh, yeah. But yes, oh yes, but you can find me on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I did it. Um, <laughs> Miss Lovely. Un- oh, Twitter on. <laughs> What's that thing called? It's called Twitter and Instagram. That's oh. what I was trying to think of. Miss Lovely underscore, you can say it with me, Curves. That's a long term name. Miss Lovely underscore, you can say it with me, Curves. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody's there. gonna type that out. Um, hey. I'm at a Clark Kent type on Twitter. Speaking of Clark Kent, I watched two episodes of Supergirl. I think maybe in the second season, it was pretty good. That's a nice show. Yeah, that's the show, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, Hope you have a great day. Love you. Do you know how to say love you? Is that that new? That just came out. No. You you always be telling them you love them. I know, right? But you know what? I care about (laughs) y'all. Bye.